What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs, day number 1329, coming at you. Hope you're all doing great out there. Uh, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Instacart, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. That's correct, everybody. And uh, make sure to hit that like button down below. Let's see if we can get 200 thumbs up on the video and let's jump into this. So you heard me mention Instacart, something I don't normally talk about, but I probably should start talking about because ever since the pandemic, Instacart has definitely become a platform um, that is being used now more than ever, you know, getting uh, orders, uh, getting your groceries delivered. I've even used it before. I've also used Shipped. So uh, one of my viewers, very loyal, uh, uh, what do you call it? Dasher D. That's how she refers to herself. Um, she sent me this and I will also put the link to the video in question and shout out to uh, Instacart Dude for this information. Uh, she says, hey Pete, Instacart Dude posted this and I was wondering what your thoughts are. I'm thinking that all of the gig apps need to start requiring this high dollar or not this would, uh, uh, this high dollar signature. Uh, which would 100% eliminate fraud and theft and everything. And uh, that it would eliminate and solve the problem of scamming the driver. So what he talked about in the video is, or I'll, let me just read the title. Instacart new policy on high ticket orders. Signatures now required. A good thing, yes or no. Uh, she goes, I'm not a fan of me doing the work of Instacart because it just isn't my cup of tea. Same with me. I'm not really big on shopping for people's groceries. Um, she says, but it's very, imp it's a very important service that is offered physically. I can't handle it. If we had other gig work instead, DoorDash, I would drive for the other apps if I was approved in my area. Anyway, I just thought I would share this with you and would love to hear your thoughts at the, on this. At least one platform is starting to protect up in some way. Feel free to share this on your channel. Thanks, Pete, to my gig big brother. Um, let's see. I signed up and was deactivated because of my paperwork for my car insurance. It expired. Oh, so, so you had the issue with the checker thing as well, I'm assuming, with the, uh, the driver's license and car insurance and stuff. Okay. Well, D, thank you for letting me know about this. Now, <clears throat> the reason why I'm talking about this today is because I've, I've always said with the fraud situation where I never got my groceries. I never got my order. This has always been a monstrous problem, especially ever since the pandemic started. And now things that, you know, things have been winding down and whatnot. A signature almost seems like it has to be required because at least if there's a signature required, okay, these customers, these scam artists cannot say, well, I never got my order. I never got my groceries. I never got my food. Yes, you did. Even with drivers taking pictures, it's still turning into an issue, okay? And I have a huge problem with that. Now, when we've talked about signatures in the past, people are like, well, I don't wanna do that. And, you know, because of COVID, you know, you don't wanna be in front of people. There's gotta be some way that we can find a happy medium because again, what does DoorDash, what does Instacart, what does Grubhub, what does Uber Eats care if they're deactivating drivers? Well, it's like, well, it's the customer's word against yours. So we're gonna side with the customer. They always, they almost always side with the customer. And I'll tell you right now, another way that they need to cut down on the fraud other than just the signatures is they gotta start deactivating customers' accounts. Even though a lot of them are just signing up with new emails and new phone numbers and new addresses and whatnot, and they're just remaking accounts, keep deactivating them. Or at least if there's an address that we see that keeps causing problems, blacklist that address or something like that on the app. Because it's absolutely ridiculous that drivers are the ones that have to take the, you know, to take the loss. Because I cannot tell you, I'm still, to this day of you watching this video, I am still getting emails from people saying, Pete, I was deactivated for fraud. The new drivers contacting Pete, I was deactivated for fraud. They said that customers didn't get their order. I don't know what's going on. I know I definitely dropped it off. It ain't right. It's not right, guys, and something needs to be done. It, it's literally getting to the point now where they're requiring signatures now on Instacart orders, and it's only a matter of time until DoorDash or Grubhub or Uber Eats starts requiring a similar thing. Now, you might also say, well, Pete, Uber Eats has been doing the pin code thing. 
Yeah, it's a start, but not every order is like that. And DoorDash, being the titan of all of them, is not using this either. Now, is this going to cause an extra headache for drivers? More than likely. But it's crazy that because customers are committing so much fraud, that these are the things we have to do. Okay, this is why Dino, from saying it like it is, so, says about how horrible things have gotten, because it's true. It was not like this four years ago when, when we both started. I think Dino said he started a little bit after me. I'm just curious, in the chat or the comments down below, um, when did you guys start working in the gig economy? Was it, you know, recently? Was it a year, two years, three years? Let me know down below in the comments or the chat, because again, I started in June 2017, and none of these things were an issue, like literally none of them. So let me know your thoughts down below. And of course, I do want to take this time right now to uh, shout out all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash pay to drive. If you guys want to sign up, links in the description or in the pin top comment. And um, these people give a little something every month and I shout you guys out. And you also get a direct line of access uh, to talk to me through Patreon. You could bypass my email and I usually respond within an hour or so. Uh, so when you hear your name called, say, Hey Pete, I heard my name. We got Lee Peacock, Agus, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Richardson, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Jenny Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to all of you. Thank you so much for signing up and supporting the channel. Really appreciate it. And of course, guys, make sure to save money on your gas with the Get Upside Gas app. Link is in the description down below. It's a free app for your smartphone. When you go pump your gas at the gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside, links in the description. Make sure to download it. And uh, of course, guys, if you wanna get one of these shirts that says live to drive, drive to live, or many others like it, go check out paid2drivestore.com. Everything's on sale. You get all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies at paid2drivestore.com. Go check it out. But yeah, that's really it. If you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment saying end120 in that chat, in that comments down below. Let's me know you made it to the end. And if you haven't yet, get started right now. Hit that free red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And of course, let's see if we can get 150 likes. So smash that like real quick right now. I'll give you a second to do it. I'll give you lots of seconds to do it because until next time, Get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on what channel, everybody? Paid to drive and pay to drive logs. That's right, everyone. Take care. Adios. We'll see you on the next one. Drive safe.